Speaking of dingy and warm, I got some free crap and I donated it away. <laughs> It's Natalie and my sister Sarah. Hi. Welcome back to my channel for another video. We are doing something a little different than I've ever done, uh, but we had a really fun free swap at our preschoolers group. Um, if you haven't heard of it before, it's called Mops. And this week it was our swap. So we gathered up items in our house that we no longer want, gently used housewares, clothing, baby stuff, all sorts of stuff, and brought it to the swap and then just kind of passed it all around and take what you want and they donate the rest. So we kind of have a little free haul. I don't even know what to call this video, but it's uh, a haul of things that we picked up from the swap. I feel really good that I've cleared a bunch of stuff out of my yeah. house. You, yeah. you packed some stuff up too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like four or five bags. It was almost a blessing just to not have to go to the thrift store. I know, honestly. I was telling Weston last night, look, if I don't come home with anything, I'm just glad that I got rid of you guys. It was embarrassing, the amount of stuff that I got rid of. It was ridiculous. I have like sent back stuff that I got from clothing companies that right. I've worked with or whatever that right. it's like, this is perfectly good clothing, yeah. but I'm not gonna wear it or someone will, I'm not pregnant anymore. There's someone lots will of wear maternity it. clothes and stuff. Yeah. So let's get into this, okay. our free Hall and we, hall. we can just go, you know, we don't have to take turns. We okay. can probably just go through. I dropped off these pants in one of the bags that I brought yesterday and then I saw them on the table and I was like, I want those back. She had donator's remorse. <laughs> I did. These, for whatever reason, I just really like them. So these are going back into my closet. <laughs> Give them another try. <laughs> Yeah, some of the best stuff I got was when I went through the bags I donated and pulled stuff back out. So I'm excited that I got this dress. That so is so cute. cute. You know I love stripes. Yeah. It's really cute. Because yeah. that would make a really good summer dress. I wonder how stretchy this is if you could nurse with it. I don't know. In the comments, if you are a breastfeeding mom, let me know if you are a pull down breastfeeder, like you pull your shirt down to breastfeed, or if you prefer to pull your shirt up. I'm a pull down. Er. <laughs> I'm a pull upper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Things for Haley. She does not need more clothes. <laughs> she does not need more clothes. Yeah. Um, I actually really try to keep my kids' closets, as well as mine, pretty minimal. Like just a few really good pieces that they can mix and match. But I could not pass up a few of these, which I think oh, we I fit her in the spring. There. Isn't this cute? So cute. So it's kind of hard to see through this camera. It's adorable. Oh my gosh. I just, I am such a sucker for lace, like Victorian. For seersucker? Look. You're a sucker for seersucker? This sucker? is a seersucker. Well, that kind of looks like it. No, that's Battenberg. Oh. Seersucker are like the little teeny tiny lines. Like oh, the teeny you're tiny right. stripes that have like a crinkle material. Oh, I thought it was that. No, this is Battenberg. I also got this little, uh, this is Oshkosh another. I like Oshkosh. Yeah. They run small though, because this is... 12 month size, and that would fit her now. That would fit my 12 month. Yeah. Cause he hands small. Purple t-shirt. Purple t-shirt. My husband and I each have like five or six purple t-shirts. I don't know why, we love purple t-shirts. And we will inevitably walk out of the room both wearing our purple t-shirts at the same time. Why are we matching? I don't know why. Is this the one that you found for Yes, me? with the buttons on the side. So this screamed. I did find some stuff for the boys actually, which I was surprised because normally like from 2T on for boys, they wear their clothes out so much moms don't even want to donate. It's like straight to garage rags. But I did find some stuff. I found this really cute. This is going to oh, be too big on them like right winter, now. winter, like Christmas. I know. This is a size five. So they're in 4T. So this is the next size. What's up. the brand? Joe Fresh? Joe Fresh. <laughs> I, think <laughs> I think it's a Nordstrom brand actually. Ooh. I just love stripes and I love this style of shirt. I Me don't too. Know why. I, I got a couple of those so for Hannah in here. I'm pretty sure. These Jersey's are actually one. Hannah's, I mean, Haley's socks that she wore to you nursery. And there. apparently she just puked all over them. So those are bringing the wash bin. socks too. Oh, isn't this cute? Oh, that is. That, that is, is so pretty. pretty. It's like see through. And so you'd wear like something like black or something underneath it. It's so oh, pretty. That is really pretty. I got a pair of jammy pants that'll fit them now. The boys are obsessed with jammies. They have to wear jammies at bedtime. Oh I don't gosh. know why, because I I wasn't that way when I was a kid. Yeah. I kind of just would wear whatever. Yeah. I even wore jeans to bed when I was little sometimes. Yep. Isn't that weird? Yeah, so I uncomfortable. Never do that now. I can't sleep if I'm wearing jeans and I can't work if I'm not wearing jeans. I cannot work if in I jeans. If I have to get housework done, I must put on jeans and I really? must put on shoes. That is, I have because to put I on just, shoes. Because it's not comfortable to sit down. 
Yeah. Like, it's like, I'm in go mode. And That's I'm not so gonna take pretty. off these shoes until I'm done. It's really cute black. Oh, I like that. I like the again. texture I like of the it. peplum, like on the bottom, this thick. Okay, you know um, a lot of terms. <laughs> Seersucker, peplum. No, you were, no, you were the one who said Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. <laughs> Remember when we were little? Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, okay, so we were homeschooled. And not that it only not requires a homeschool mom to, to make... slap their face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But when we were uh, learning our states and capitals, the way my mom would teach us Baton Rouge, Louisiana, was we were Baton the Rouge on, which I actually from think Grandpa, Grandpa yeah. taught my mom. Yeah. That. Here's another shirt for the boys. This is an extra small, which is a five. So they're getting into like out of toddler sizes wow. now, which is crazy. Is but this crazy. is for next summer. I don't think Aww. they'll wear this. Cool dude shirt. This one's cute too. Stripes. Oh look, I, got I like a stripes. Navy stripe thing. Oh look cute. So it has this Aww. really cute. Crinkle. Now what is that? Called um, crepe. Crepe. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yes. Good job, Sarah. Here's the cutest thing ever. <gasps> Whoops. Oh, they have to be on the. <laughs> Child my child not have inverted feet, I promise. <laughs> they're so cute. They're, they're, they're so not gonna fit her probably until, I mean, she's small anyway. Oh my so they're gosh. probably not gonna fit her till she's, those are I don't so know, cute. 12. Okay, but please don't get so rid of cute. those. Cause my kid has, my children have ridiculously small feet for their age. Oh, really? Do you know what kind of lace that is? Eyelet lace. Yes. <laughs> And actually, all these things I learned from my is, mom. This is actually eyelet lace too. It just kind of looks bad. For See, her. you were wrong. Yeah. Oh well. Actually, when mom sees this video and she hears me saying Battenberg lace, she's like, no, that's eyelet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and these shoes too. They need a, oh. They have a little bit of loose threads and oh, they're a little. It's just like mom's are you know. Yes, they're so oh. cute. No, they're kids' corner, but they're adorable. So cute. I can just see my little hand. I go. It's one is this little vest, this little fluffy vest. That's cute. The Levi's, the boys have never had Levi's. This is 3T. Are these oh, cute? They're adorable. These are like real denim. These are really This just reminds nice. me of, of you know, when Luke was a little kid. Yeah. And when I, I would do laundry. And I like that they're skinny waist because my kids, they, to fit them lengthwise, they fall right off yeah. their butts. They are tall and skinny. The thing I was searching for the most for Hannah, because she has a lot of clothes already, but is sweaters. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, Hannah can get chilled sometimes and stuff. This oh. one is so adorable. So cute. Little buttons. And then so cute. this one's a little bulkier, but nice. I just thought that was adorable. And since Hannah's small for her age, this nine months will fit her even until she's probably 12 months, which oh, will definitely. be in the winter. So. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Basic black. Cute. Basic gray. Oops. Basic bay. Oh, Jackets for Hannah. I love the little ruffles. I know. It's so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, gosh, girl. I sort of went through this phase a few months ago of uber minimalizing Hannah's clothes. Mm -hmm. But I minimalize some things too much. Yeah. Like sleepers, you can't have too many sleepers. No, I agree. Definitely. So that was a mistake. And then, um, Sweatshirt or like jackets and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're so nice to just. She barfs on a shirt, cover it up. <laughs> One of the nice things about doing uh, thrift hauls is that people already cut the tags yeah. out for you. I got this really cute sweater. It has this chiffon little panel oh, that goes longer, cute. and then it does this really cute crisscross in the back. I found a <laughs> and an unmentionable. An unmentionable. <laughs> And then this was actually the very first thing I found, and I thought cute. it was an adorable little cardigan with these polka dot seams. So cute! And then I just got just a couple more things or uh, um, boys' coats. I feel like you That's can't have too cute. many boys' coats. This is a snow zoo, which these are expensive. Really? These are really expensive coats. Um, this is will fit them next winter. This is definitely too big for them right now. But um, you snatch it up while you can. I also got one. This one, this is a snow zoo. Oh, that's snow cute. zoo, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I see them for sale like all the time and they're like, that's used and you're charging $45 for that used coat. So mm. it, it must be a nice yeah. brand. Stuff has changed so much since we were kids yeah. as far as nice brands go. And you go. can kind of like repair them easily. And actually, I just want this to be a grunge coat. I, I loved being little and just having my coat that it didn't matter how hard I played in it, it was already beat up. Totally. And I could just be a kid and not be like, ooh, take care of your clothes, yeah, you know? Yeah. And then I got a coffee tumbler that definitely needs a scrubbing, which 
If you guys saw my FabFitFun fall unboxing last year, I got the alternate one to this, so I wonder if this is like someone got the FabFitFun. I got the Joy Comes in the Morning. This is the Good Morning Gorgeous. And then I got a grande size Starbucks tumbler. I have the venti size, and when I show up somewhere with that much coffee, I feel so self-conscious. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to give myself a grande yeah. size one, because that petite coffee. <laughs> yeah. I only have a small addiction. <laughs> and then at this swap, they also, for like big ticket items that people donated, like really nice things, baby swings, car seats, um, they had a big train table there, a breast pump, they do raffles. I put my name in for a train table the boys already have a train table but our church right now is constructing a, a really nice new building and they have a registry of things that they want to put into their children's ministry and one of those things was a train table and Wes and I were praying about you know buying that off the registry but then there was one that they were raffling and I won the raffle Yay! and so I got to tell the children's ministry coordinator that we were donating it to them and she was so thrilled it just so made me cool. so happy like this is God totally provided That's so perfect so cool so that was what I won in the raffle yeah. Did you, you won a raffle too. yeah I won these breast milk storage pouches which I just thought you know normal breast milk storage pouch is cool and I was glad I won but then I just a few minutes ago opened them up to look at them and they're super cool. They're clever and... Oh, this is like a whole system, I think. Yeah, they're, they say they're universal, so I'm sure they'll still work for... I have a... Can you attach this to like a Medela pump? I'm not sure. I don't have a Medela. I have a Rumble Tough. Oh, I heard those are really nice. Yes, I like it. So I, do, I don't know if this attaches to it or not, but I know that it... But you can put a nipple on this. Like you, I think it's so that you can drink out of the bag and oh, you don't really? have to switch back and forth. Yeah. Wow. I think that is everything that we got in our little haul. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And what did we ask someone to comment with? If they are a puller upper or a puller down. Yeah, if you're, if you're a breastfeeder, let us know what your preferred method is. Oh my gosh, my nose is running so bad right now. Thank you for being on my channel. Thank you for having it me. It was so nice and thank you for coming to our swap. Yeah! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Why is it blinking? Because it's running out of battery. Hi. Please excuse me if I stutter and stumble and restart. So I get to see the behind the scenes, how it's not perfect. You get to see a version of the behind the scenes. How it is. We're gonna have a blooper roll, aren't we? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you have Haley snot on your shoulder. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> like roll eye face. I'll restart with you. You're like, oh my, oh my god. god. Sorry, my nose is starting to run. Oh, someone in here has cats. Yeah. I think yeah. I keep scooting out of the frame. You have room on your side. Not including that. I know. <laughs> when we're done recording, because I don't want to take up all of my recording space with stories, ask me about breast buds. Breast buds, okay. Lighten up a little bit and then <laughs> make her sound like a druggie. Yes. Ooh. What is that? It's a dandelion head. <laughs> <laughs>